love lives here. Hey guys, so today we're going to be showing you guys, um, we're going to be showing you guys how to color tie-dye. For the color tie-dye, we're going to be using a white t-shirt. Now, when it comes to tie-dye, you, you guys can use anything. You guys can use socks, shorts, t-shirts, long sleeve, hoodies, anything. Okay, so for the color tie-dye, you'll need um, hot water enough to fill it up with this bottle. Um, you'll need RIT tie-dye. You don't have to get RIT tie-dye. You can also get um, a tie-dye kit, and we got ours from Michael's. Um, dishwashing soap, a spoon so you can mix in the mixture, and then just a towel so you can test the colors. And then we are going to be using this blue dye for this t-shirt. Okay, so Nia um, is going to be using hot water. Um, and then what she's going to do is put the dye. She's going to shake it up first. Okay. And now you're going to just pour a little bit of dye into the water. I think that's good. Um, and then you're going to pour just a little bit of dish soap. That's good. Just a little bit. Just eyeball it. And then you're going to get the plastic spoon and just mix it together. Okay. So now you're going to get your white towel. Make sure you use a white towel so you can see how the color is. You're going to be doing um, using the white towel so she can see how the color turns out. Um, the more dye you use, the darker the color will come out. And the less dye you use, the lighter the color. So I think the blue looks pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is pour it into the squeezing bottle. Be careful when doing this because the water is very hot. So do it, I, uh, it's best to put it over the plastic bag so you won't get dye everywhere. You don't have to fill the dye up all the way to the top because right now we're just only using one t-shirt. Um, so I think that amount's pretty good. We don't need too much. We actually put a little too much. Usually when you're using multiple dyes, it's best to have this much, but we're only using one t-shirt. But if we do need more, all we, do, all we have to do is pour more. So now Ania is going to be scrunching the white t-shirt. <laughs> Okay, so now um, I'm going to take the rubber band off and then you're gonna see if you like how it looks. The uh, design came out a little bit spotty, so we're just gonna re-scrunch it. Usually I just say to scrunch it like without the rubber band, but um, yeah. So we're gonna take in smaller sections because before we just did it one big scrunch. What we're gonna do is take the first half and scrunch it. Even though there's dye on it already, it's still gonna come out cool. Now, so a little bit more dye on here. So now we're gonna put this in the washing machine. Okay, so this is the finished look for the white uh, color tie-dye. The blue came out a little washed out, but that's okay. Basically, you just need to put a little bit more blue so it can come out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we'll show, I'll put show pictures on the side of other tie-dyes that we've done with the blue and pink tie-dye. I hope you guys like this video and let me know how the tie-dye worked out for you guys. Love.